Hey, what's going on, everybody? Thank you for stopping by. This is Headbanger and Hard Rock Television. I'm Sam, and we're just going to sit here and we're going to talk music from rock music to hard rock music to heavy metal. What I'm doing with this channel is that we're just going to find some bands maybe you never heard of, and we're going to review it. I'm going to try to bring my friends in, and we're going to talk about it. And if you like it, check them out. We will put the link to their channels in the description. Hey, and don't forget to stick around for Frank's Minute in the Pit, okay? And then at the end of this video, we will give you a flashback of a great heavy metal or hard rock band from the past that I love listening to. All right, today we are going to listen to a band out of Italy called Titus. Um, they have a new single release, not an album yet. I really liked it. That's why I'm bringing it in here. So looking into the band. I found that they had a whole album release in 2016, which is called Rises. So listening to it, I listened to the whole album, and this gave me, you can definitely hear the influence of this band in the first album of Iron Maiden. It don't sound like Iron Maiden, but you can hear the influence of it. I got like a, a Armor Saint kind of feel too with them. It's good rock and roll. It's, I mean, it's good rock and heavy, hard rocking. Um, you got some fast stuff. They throw in, you know, definitely different breaks down, breakdowns and different kind of speeds and different kind of rhythms. Guitar player is really good. I really enjoy listening to the singer. And then in 2019, they have an album out. It's called Rain After Drought. Um, I listened to most of this. And when I started listening to the beginning of this album, the album started off really fast. Like they were, like it was more like a thrash album. But as you can see, as it goes on, it just comes right to a straight, uh, a fast paced, hard rock album. Um, it slows down, goes up and down, but it's really good. Um, really good leads in this one, really teethy. Um, old school, definitely both albums are old school. Even this new single will give you a feel of old school rock, metal, old school metal. So today we're gonna have Frank and Gary, a friend of mine. Hey, when you're out, Gary is part of a, a uh, internet uh, radio channel. It's called 97 Underground. Um, these guys just play rock music, hard rock music. If you want to listen to heavy metal and hard rock and you're out of your car, just download their app. It's a free app and you can listen to it all, all, all night long. All right. Definitely give them a shout out. I listen to them all the time. All right. So first up, it's going to be Gary. Gary's going to go ahead and give you what he thinks about it. And then Frank's going to come in with a minute in a pit and give you his his opinion on type. What's up, Headbanger Hard Rock TV? This is Gary coming to you this week. Uh, I'm getting ready to do a review on this band called uh, Titus. Uh, song is uh, Fistful of Sand. 
So here we go. So far, so good. Good straight up metal thrash. Music kind of reminds me of, we got some Iron Maiden going on there, there's a little feel of that. Um, actually, I think we're going to go with a little band called Riot. I don't know if you guys are familiar with a band called Riot. 80s uh, rock, hard rock if you want to call them, not really heavy metal, but they got the feel of Riot. Like I said, the singer, solid, great voice, powerful. I'm liking what I'm hearing so far. So far, so good, I like it. Got that double bass going on in the background with the bass guitar. Got the rhythm section holding the fourth down. The singer, um, band's from um, Italy. You can barely hear the accent. He's sounding really good. Then we go into another break here. I'm liking it. The music sounds sounds very similar to a band called Riot, like I said. Um, you definitely get the feel of some little Iron Maiden going on there with the leads going. You got some Nicko McBrain um, drum fills going on. Uh, I'm, I'm liking that. Not too many bands really kind of have you know separate breaks. Where they, you know, have a bunch of fills with some leads. I think I've heard it like three or four times where we, you know, got the rhythm section playing and we got some leads going on in the background. So yeah, I'm digging it. I like it. Nice little uh, scream towards the end there. There's a little Iron Maiden for you right there at the end. So yeah, I mean, overall, I mean, I think this band here... You know, it's a solid band. Out of 1 out of 10, I'd probably give them like a, a good 7.5 maybe. Something like that. Um, so, yeah, overall, yeah. Um, let's give it a solid 7.5 and, hey, and go with it. Welcome to the show, guys. Hey, I'm going to do a quick review on this band called Titus. Um, I like these guys. Um, I gave it a listen to. Uh, Fistful of Sand. They kind of, uh, if you like good, solid, heavy metal, this is a band for you. They're awesome. Uh, the singer and all that got good vocal range and stuff. The guitar work is very good. And it kind of puts me in the mind of early days like TT Quick and stuff like that. Very good guitar work. Um, not too familiar with these guys. I'm sure I'm going to be checking out more on them. But give them a listen, guys, because they're really rocking. They're really good. Good, hard, heavy rock metal. Give them a listen, guys. Stay metal. Hey guys, welcome to the show. This is your Men in the Pit. This week I'm going to give you some upcoming releases that are going to be coming out in the upcoming months. Dio's got some re-releases coming out. Uh, Evil Divine, I think that's live in New York. That should be very good. He's also got uh, re-releases of Holy Diver that's going to be coming out. Sacred Rights, if you remember that band from the 80s plus today, they're still around. They're going to be putting out a new album, but they do got a bunch of re-releases coming out from them. Give them a chance, check them out, good thrash, kind of punky stuff from back in the day. I think you guys will like them. Withers Falls has got a new one coming out, Curse of Autumn, which comes out March 5th. This guy's with Sanctuary, the singer. Very good vocals, high pitch vocals. If you like Warren Bain from back then, God rest his soul. Give these guys a holler, check them out, they're very good. I love them, you guys should too. The Crown, Roll Destroyer, comes out March 12th. Check them out, they're a very good band. Um, I Hate God's got a new one coming out. I think it's called The History of Nomadic Behavior. Um, I think that comes out the same date, March 12th. Give them guys a chance, they're very good if you like thrash and all that. Kind of a um, little bit more newer style of today's music kind of screaming and stuff like that. You guys should like them. 
Sweet Oblivion has got a new one coming out, which I'm very excited about. This is with Jeff Tate. He's, uh, I had the first one that came out probably last summer, maybe the summer before that. This comes at April 9th. I have seen a video from this and I heard a song. I think it's called Strong Pressure. Very good. I love Jeff Tate. I'm sure you guys too. Um, this puts you right in the vein of old Queensryche. Um, and new Queensryche, actually. So give this a chance, guys. Give him some support and check it out, man. Um, in news, Paul Diano is going to be doing his final farewell show. Uh, which is sad. If you like Paul Diana, you know who he is. Uh, Killers, uh, the first album, uh, Iron Maiden and all that back in the day. Um, I actually like Paul Diano. Very good singer. Very good. Uh, to, me, to me, Iron Maiden was a little bit more rawer sounding back then. It's very cool. He's going to be doing this at the Beer Megadon Festival, which is in, um, I think, the United Kingdom. It's going to be a sad day, but I'm sure he's going to be playing a lot of stuff of his solo stuff too there. So give it a chance, man. If you get a chance to get over there or check it out or see it, that'd be awesome. If not, hopefully he'll bring this out on DVD or something, which I'm sure he probably will, seeing that this is going to be his final performance. But uh, that's it for this week, guys. Just stay metal, and I'll see you next time. Triumph was a great old time band. That was a great flashback. And I really appreciate you stopping to buy. I really appreciate you hanging out. And if you like this kind of stuff, just make sure you hit this thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the um, channel and hit the notification bell. It'll let you know every time we put a video up, okay? Thanks for sticking around and stay metal.